know, first of all, I wanted to kind of ask what your story is and why this bill is specifically important to you. So when I got the bill, I thought, it makes perfect sense. This is common sense in my community. Uh, my police officers are, are, are good, upstanding citizens. We know there are situations with rogue cops around the nation. We know that there have been instances where cops have not been uh, as good as I see them in my neighborhood. And we want to make sure that they're kept accountable. We want to make sure that we c continue to protect the First Amendment freedoms of our citizenry to film and to watch and to keep them accountable. But what we do want is to ask them to step back just a little bit. So that's the genesis of the bill. Obviously, the backlash was much uh, different than what we had expected. I mean, I guess because of the timing of it, right, with situations like Ferguson and other situations that we've seen around the country, uh, that there are reasons why people feel like this bill might not be timely. They want uh, accountability from our police officers, and I 100% agree with them. So hypothetically, if I were photographing or filming uh, with a tripod and an officer starts to approach me, does the 15-foot halo move with him and am I therefore breaking a law? <laughs> now you're getting some complicated uh, logistical questions. So the way we've drafted the new version of the law, mm -hmm. it says that if you are the, there's a vote going on, you're the, give me one second. Sure. If you're the person of focus being engaged, mm -hmm. right, then there's, you're exempt. So if you're, if somebody pulls you over in an automobile, if a police officer pulls you over, you would be exempt in that situation. Um, if you were the person being arrested, you put your phone out, you're exempt in that situation. We're not trying to keep the individuals from being able to keep the officer accountable. It's those third party outside agitators that we're most concerned about. So if I have a camera on a drone and I were to fly it close within the 15 foot boundary, oh, is I see that what you're allowed? If you, if you had your own drone, um, I would imagine that that would be prohibited, but again, the uh, the legislation doesn't contemplate uh, that kind of technology. Uh, most of these individuals who are doing this are not using that kind of technology. They're actually getting in the face of the officers and uh, disrupting so them. So as far as the, the Twitter blocks, um, I know you said you've been receiving death threats against your family and that's why you kind of had to shut things down. Right. Was it a, a staffer who blocked and why why did they start blocking uh, people with legitimate questions, not actually well, death threats? Well, I got about 4,000 Twitter hits a day. Uh, most of them were not death threats, but they were uh, of the nature that would be un inappropriate for a Twitter feed like mine. So, you know, go kill yourself. I hope you die. Um, I hope your children die in a fiery car crash. Those really bad, horrible things. And so what normally we do, I, I keep my own Twitter feed. When you see somebody te text, that's me, it's not a staffer. But what I did was anytime somebody was speaking negatively about me or if I thought it was relating to 2019, because there's so many, I wasn't filtering. 2019, block, block, block. I've just discovered the mute button. So now that there's a mute button, no one else will likely be blocked, they'll just be muted. Um, Look, I'm 44 years old. I understand Twitter to the degree that I do. Blocking to me, I, I, I didn't, I, I thought, well, it's, it's my Twitter feed. Why can't I block people? I don't like to have debates and conversations in 140 characters. It's just difficult to have real conversations like we're having today mm -hmm. uh, in 140 characters, especially when all the, the rock throwers are watching, right? Because some people are interested in having genuine a dialogue about these very serious issues. Some people are just interested in saying, well, Jason, you're a bad person. We, we were hopeful that uh, as this begins to blow over, we can re-engage and, and not have to resort to that kind of thing. But that's how that happened. Okay.